You're watching the Trailblazers, where we do our best to hunt down and bring to you those young innovators whose startups or ventures are using technology to create social good. And hunt them down, we do, because we're on a mission to make this a platform for the future innovation leaders of our generation. Now this time, we're going to be talking to Milos, the high energy founder of Strawberry Energy. Now these folks are smart city startup that want to transform public spaces into hubs for clean energy and intelligent sources of information about the environment of the local area. Now one of his many products is blessing outdoor benches with the gift of connectivity. It's called a Strawberry Bench and Danny, it's powered by solar energy, allows you to charge your mobile while you're sat there eating your sandwich, will track the environment to monitor local air quality, as Danny Danny mentioned, and offers free emergency calls for public safety. I wonder if it'll make me a Thai curry next, that's brilliant. That is a clever bench. Now he's not just targeting parks and public spaces, he also wants to offer his smart city infrastructure to sports arenas and university campuses. And we're not the only ones who find their potential exciting, right? They won the Verge Accelerate 2014 in San Fran and have been a finalist for the World Technology Awards in the Environment category. So shall we go find Milos? I think so. Honestly, I bet he sat on a strawberry bench somewhere anyway, creating his next revolutionary product, so he shouldn't be that tough to find. Milos, thank you for being on the Trailblazers. Thank you for having me. So look, we wanted to feature a smart city project, so I'm really glad we've got Strawberry Energy on board. So let's dive straight into it, right? Let's kick off by hearing from you about all these amazing core projects that yeah. Strawberry Energy is currently developing and rolling out. Yeah, so basically we all see how the world is changing and how technology is changing the way how we live. So we wanted basically to try to bring these, some of these new technologies into our public spaces so that people can have benefits out, out of them in their everyday life. So we started off by creating this new generation of smart street furniture where we actually, the first thing we created was a strawberry tree and then uh, we introduced the younger brother of strawberry tree which we call strawberry smart bench. So with the strawberry tree and the bench, let's explain to people what specifically these can do for the everyday citizen as well as for the local community. So the main goal is to provide these relevant services for the modern persons. So every piece of street furniture will provide you energy access so you can recharge your portable devices where you are on the go. It will provide you also connectivity, usually Wi-Fi, to provide people access to the internet and it will also provide environmental sensing so we can get better understanding of the health of our environment on a really local level, places like your park, your street, your school, kindergarten and it will also provide, try to help actually with the public safety by creating this network of emergency call stations which you can just easily access by pushing the button. So maybe I should be asking you what these pieces of street furniture can't do. So look, there's a social aspect of these projects clearly, right? Because the bench as well as the tree are probably docking points to bring people together. So I bet that you've actually been indirectly responsible for a couple of marriages and business deals. How does that pan out? I uh, don't have any like evidence for that, but probably it's true because we have all, uh, over 400,000 users in the last three years, which means that a lot of people spent a lot of time there. Is we saw that people are more willing to to meet new people and to start speaking when they are using Strawberry Bench and Strawberry Tree comparing to the ordinary bench. And when we ask them why, like why that's why that's the case, because we heard that so many times from the people. But you're also we already have something in common. You came there to recharge or to use Wi-Fi, so we, it's easier to start speaking. It makes people more open and more comfortable to start meeting new people. So there's clearly another social good angle here, which is the human connection. You know, that's right. Beyond sort of the amazing advantages you're offering with environmental sensing and people being able to charge their phone and obviously using solar energy. So is the Internet of Things the main technology that Strawberry Energy's products are based on or does it kind of extend beyond that? In a sense that we are trying to create this uh, 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 solar powered smart technology hubs in the public spaces across the city which will bring power of Internet of Things to uh, outdoor urban areas 
using purely clean energy and being super easy to install because you don't need to connect it anywhere in terms of current infrastructure. Now, I know that you want to expand the reach of this, right, beyond, yeah. let's say, parks and business districts over to even sports arenas and university campuses. So clearly dreaming big, which is brilliant. So tell me where you want to take this and what that future vision looks like for you for Strawberry Energy. What we are doing is we're trying to bring some new purpose for them in the 21st century so you can imagine having this kind of smart benches across all of the cities across the globe especially in the places where you care most about like your street your park uh, uh, schoolyards kindergartens will all have this smart street furniture so the idea is to try to make uh, our public spaces our urban spaces more responsive to our needs in the 21st century. I love that it sounds to me, the way you're describing it, that you're actually infusing life and connectivity into inanimate objects such yeah. as benches, which is fantastic. So look, the time has now come to unravel what makes Milos tick as yeah. a person. We love this part. Now, I'd bet from your energy that you were a super hyper kid who wouldn't stay still. Maybe I'm wrong. Am I completely off the mark? Uh, you're right. When I was really young, I was really like hyperactive kid. Uh, always outside, always running, always being like uh, causing my mom a lot of headaches. But uh, later, actually, I started channeling that energy into creative stuff. So I, from the early age, I liked building stuff first with the Lego blocks, then with the like more advanced technology. and. Uh, now we are just trying to, again, build something which is going to increase the people's experience in our cities. I can see that the kind of tech for social good ethos really lights your fire and that's why you're on the trailblazers, Milos. I've asked now what you were like as a kid, right? But let me yeah. flip that question and make it a little more amusing. What do you think you're going to be like when you're 55 years old? I have, a, I have an arrangement with my friends that on, uh, for our 15th birthday. We are going to, to take Harley Davidson on a road trip through the US. Oh, I like that. That's like, that's for the 50, which is that's quite, quite ambitious. Yeah, I believe it is. But I'm, I'm clearly you're a very ambitious person, so that yeah. comes naturally too. So listen, if we're still doing the trailblazers when we're in our 50s, yeah. I'll know where to find you. So listen, Milos, thank you so much for being on the Trailblazers. I really hope that Strawberry Energy continues to make smart cities smarter, more sustainable, and really just more meaningful for everyday citizens. Keep flying that flag for the environment, okay? We're counting on you. Thank you, it was our pleasure. So we're here in Canary Wharf in the heart of London's Docklands, and I'm gonna be testing the Strawberry Smart Bench. Let's take a look. So the great thing about the Smart Bench is it provides a lead for me to plug in my phone here or if I want to use my own USB lead, it's got the port that I can plug directly into here and plug in. Better yet, if I don't want to use either, if my device is QR compatible, I can put it down on the surface area of the bench and it charges automatically using solar energy provided there. And even if it's on a bleak day like today, there's still enough energy in this to charge my devices. How fantastic is that? I think something like this is a really good tool to keep you on the go and get you uh, through, through the day. It's a great piece of technology because it brings together renewable energy, so it's solar powered with Internet of Things, it's visible, it's concrete and it's useful for anything you need for your daily life. Awesome. So Milos, you were telling me about your childhood earlier yep. and apparently there's like a special snack that you just grew up feasting on. What's that about? Yeah, so actually I, I wanted to share that with you and I brought it directly from Serbia. So it's a biscuit which you start eating when you're a kid with oh, the milk yeah. and that's pretty much with like all generations back in Serbia grew up on. And it's super easy to, to basically prepare and everybody loves it. Okay. So you can just like take a couple Brilliant. of them. Okay, this is the cookery show. Yeah. And now break them into little pieces and then we add something presumably. Yeah, milk, any kind you Got like. It. Now I'm lactose intolerant, so I might have to go for soya milk. I'll just go with the regular milk, full fat. So now we'll have to like leave it for like a yeah. minute or so. Right, so I'm going to actually put my bib on. Yeah. Because I'm quite a clumsy eater. <laughs> Do we there? Okay, swirling it around a bit. Ooh, can I try some now? Mmm. Oh, that's really good. It's like conflicts times five in terms of the flavor. This is delicious. I'm glad you like it. Mm. I have like a huge amount of friends who would completely agree with you. Mm -hmm. You can go now, by the way. Yeah, I will. <laughs>
Isn't Milos just this hyper bundle of energy? We're really a fan of what he's trying to do with making our cities far more sustainable and smarter. They are major contenders, changing the world one city at a time. And that's exactly why Milos is a true trailblazer, right? Thanks for tuning in.